Hello everyone, welcome to online mind exam. Today's quiz is based on mind's rules for mind management, legislation and general safety subject. It is a part of our Achievers Practice Series initiative. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about all future classes and quizzes. So in this quiz, there will be 10 questions and for every question you will get 30 second time to respond. After the time is up, the correct answer will be displayed on the screen. In case of any doubt pertaining to any question, please put them in comments after completing the quiz. For free study material, you can join our WhatsApp group. The link for the WhatsApp group is provided in the description of the video. In this quiz, there will be 10 questions and for every question, you will have 30 seconds. If you have the right option, you will be displayed on the screen. After any question, you can add the quiz after the question. After any question, you can add the quiz in the comments. और फ्री स्टडी मटेरियल के लिए आप व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं जिसका लिंक वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया गया है सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट अबाउट वर्किंग्स ऑफ द कमिटी ए एनी बिजनेस विच इज नॉट ऑन द एजेंडा ऑफ द मीटिंग शैल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एट द मीटिंग विदाउट द परमिशन ऑफ द चेयरमैन बी द चेयरमैन शैल इन्फॉर्म द चीफ इंस्पेक्टर इफ ए वैकेंसी ऑकर्स इन द मेंबरशिप ऑफ द कमिटी बाई रेजिग्नेशन और डेथ सी इफ सी आई इज एबसेंट फ्रॉम एनी मीटिंग द मेंबर्स प्रेजेंट सर इलेक्ट वन ऑफ दम टू प्रिसाइड ओवर द मीटिंग D. If less than five members are present at any meeting, the chairman may adjourn the meeting to a date not less than 14 days later and inform all the members that the business will be disposed of at the adjourned date of meeting irrespective of quorum. E. All are correct. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is A. Any business which is not on the agenda of the meeting shall not be considered at the meeting without the permission of the chairman. Next question. Every question referred to the committee either by circulation of papers or at a meeting of the committee shall be decided in accordance with opinion or vote of A. Majority of members sending their opinions within 15 days are present at meeting. B. Majority of mine representatives sending their opinions or voting at meeting. C. Chairman of the committee. D. Majority of members sending their opinions within time or present and voting at meeting. E. None of these. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is D. Majority of members sending their opinions within time or present and voting at meeting. Next question. Which of the following is a function of the secretary to the committee in relation to the meetings of the committee? A. He shall give at least 14 days notice to every member present in India of the time and place fixed for each meeting. B. He shall send to every member present in India the agenda of business to be disposed of at the meeting not less than 7 days before the meeting. C. He shall circulate the proceedings of each meeting to all members present in India and record the proceedings in a minute book. D. He shall conduct all correspondence of the committee and keep its account. E. All of the above. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is E. All of the above. If anybody has any doubt or inquiry related to paid courses, they can call on the number displayed on the screen. The paid courses include a structured curriculum, 50 plus hours of live classes, 30 mock tests for practice, revision notes and premium WhatsApp group access. Also, you get recordings of the classes for revision. Paid courses, you have a structured curriculum according classes. 
फिफ्टी प्लस आवर्स ऑफ लाइव क्लासेस आपको कराया जाएगा थर्टी मॉक टेस्ट होंगे एंड एक रिवीजन नोट्स भी हर टॉपिक पे आपको मिलेगा एक प्रीमियम व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप का एक्सेस मिलेगा जिसमें आप अपने डाउट्स पूछ सकते हैं और इसके साथ साथ क्लास के रिकॉर्डिंग भी आपको मिलेगी ताकि आप कभी भी जब भी चाहें उसे रिवाइज कर सकते हैं थैंक यू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट अबाउट द वर्किंग्स ऑफ कमिटी फॉर्म अंडर द एक्ट ए द सी आई कंडक्ट ऑल कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस ऑफ द कमिटी एंड सर्कुलेट प्रोसीडिंग्स बी फॉर डेडलॉक इन डिसीजन मेकिंग बाई वोटिंग द सी आई एक्सरसाइज एंड एडिशनल वोट सी Every meeting of the committee shall be presided by a chairman. D. Proceedings of the committee shall not be conducted in camera. E. All are correct. Your time starts now. टाइम अप द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी एवरी मीटिंग ऑफ द कमिटी शैल बी प्रेसाइडेड बाई ए चेयरमैन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ प्रोसीडिंग्स ऑफ ईच मीटिंग ऑफ द कमिटी शैल बी साइंड बाई ए ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द कमिटी बी सेक्रेटरी टू द कमिटी सी चीफ इंस्पेक्टर डी चेयरमैन एट द मीटिंग ऑफ द कमिटी ई ऑल द मेम्बर्स प्रेजेंट एट द मीटिंग योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ Time up. The correct answer is D. Chairman at the meeting of the committee. Next question. Under clause 21 of the Mines Rules, the person appointed to hold inquiry under dash of the Act shall hold the inquiry in public in such manner and under such conditions as it thinks most effectual for ascertaining the causes and circumstances of the accident or other occurrences and for enabling it to make the report. What is being referred to? A. Section 24, Court of Inquiry in case of diseases. B. Section 24, Court of Inquiry in case of accidents. C. Section 26, Court of Inquiry in case of diseases. D. Section 22, Any Inspector or Chief Inspector. E. Section 9A, Any Inspector or Chief Inspector. Your time starts now. टाइम अप द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी सेक्शन 24 कोर्ट ऑफ इंक्वायरी इन केस ऑफ एक्सीडेंट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट सेल विद द ड्यूटी ऑफ डैश टू अफोर्ड द सर्टिफाइंग सर्जन ऑल रीजनेबल फैसिलिटीज फॉर कैरिंग आउट सच इंस्पेक्शन एग्जामिनेशन और इंक्वायरी एज द केस मे बी ए एम्प्लॉयड पर्सन हु हैव बिन डिक्लेयर्ड एंड फिट बी चीफ इंस्पेक्टर और इंस्पेक्टर हु सो रिक्वायर्स सी ओनर एजेंट और मैनेजर ऑफ द माइन डी मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर्स इंगेज इन एनी माइन ई वेलफेयर ऑफिसर ऑफ द माइन your time starts now टाइम अप द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी ओनर एजेंट और मैनेजर ऑफ द माइन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन रिसीट ऑफ अ रेफरेंस अंडर डैश ऑफ द एक्ट द सर्टिफाइंग सर्जन शेल गिव प्रायर नोटिस रिगार्डिंग डेट टाइम एंड प्लेस फॉर मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द पर्सन एज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी अंडरटेकन बाई द मैनेजर ऑन नोटिस इशूड बाई एनी इंस्पेक्टर ए सबसेक्शन वन ऑफ सेक्शन ट्वेल्व बी सबसेक्शन टू ऑफ सेक्शन ट्वेंटी थ्री सी सबसेक्शन इलेवन ऑफ सेक्शन इलेवन डी सबसेक्शन वन ऑफ सेक्शन ट्वेंटी टू ए E subsection one of section forty three. Your time starts now.
time of the correct answer is E, subsection 1 of section 43. Next question. The certifying surgeon upon examining the person sent for examination under section 43 of the Mines Act shall prepare dash certificate of the person and deliver the same to the manager of the mine concerned. Options are A, cause and sickness, B, age and birth, C, age and fitness, D, fitness and skillness, E, conduct and character. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is C. Age and fitness. Next question. Under the Mines rules, if any person who has been sent for medical examination under section 43 of the Act is not certified to be fit by certifying surgeon, he shall not be sent for another medical examination unless a period of dash has elapsed from the time of last medical examination without permission of an inspector. The options are A. 12 months, B. 6 months, C. 3 months, D. 1 month, E. None of these. Your time starts now. Time up. The correct answer is B. Thank you everyone for your participation. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about all future classes and quizzes. Share the video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get benefited from our free initiatives. Thank you.